Hello everybody, Uncle Wooly back with some more Silent Hill 3, this time part 4. Um, I really have no idea where the story is going to go, but Heather uh, just got to the amusement park at the end of last stream. So that's where we're joining our protagonist this week. Sword GG's on first, and uh, nice new username by the way. You crispy critter you. <laughs> Welcome on in. Mattis Dog, good to see you my friend. It is late on a school night and you still are up joining us, so much appreciated. Uh, tonight's stream beer is, uh, well, you guessed it, another Oktoberfest. I am really leaning uh, very hard into the Oktoberfest beers this year. And this one from uh, Goose Island. I've had a couple of these so far this year, and so I know it's good. And look at the uh, the fun pretzel they have on the back there. That's what I want to pair with this beer. I might have to do that. Maybe this weekend. <laughs> right? Isn't that fun? I love that. It is so very fun. We'll give you some puppy cam while we uh, crack this thing open here. So we are going to get down with some longer streams uh, Halloween weekend. Um, and I'm going to throw some polls out in the Discord and on Twitter for those that uh, want to help choose what we play. Because I want to get down with some scary content uh, while the season is uh, still pretty fresh. And hopefully something we can get through uh, that weekend as well. Uh, still working up some cosplays for that. So we may, I say may, see the return of uh, Zombie Bob Ross or Zombob. Uh, we do have an emote for that one. Jose, welcome in. Welcome in. Uh, how are you enjoying Inside? I haven't played that yet, uh, but I really enjoyed Limbo. Really, really enjoyed Limbo, and that's the same dev uh, that made Limbo. So I'm guessing it's probably really good. I started watching the other night. I started watching Cabin in the Woods, uh, but apparently I was so tired I couldn't even get past the uh, the intro sequence, <laughs> which is like maybe three minutes. So I'm gonna have to restart that. One. But I've heard good things. And my goodness, Joe, say thank you for the resub at ten months. My goodness. Can we get some hearts and chat for Jose, please? And I will get you a proper shout out here. Would you like to see the return of Zombob there, Mattis Dog? Thank you for 10 months. My goodness. Thank you. Thank you. So we have a screen beer. We need to post in the Discord. And then I will be uh, ready to go here. Really, really loving the fall fall beer season, and uh, the the beers are just so crisp and clean and refreshing, and just fit that kind of colder air. I love it. Really great season for beer, but I'm not I'm not ready for winter yet. I can tell you that. Our snow lasted basically till May this last year, so I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not ready for winter quite yet. Dogs and beer. Hey, Cole, you've come to the right place. Welcome in, dude. Enjoyed your stream this morning. Uh, you're making some really great progress through uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake. One of my favorite games, but that's because Final Fantasy VII is my favorite game. Not ready for winter either. The cold bathrooms after a morning shower. That I'm okay with. What I'm not okay with is uh, when I let the dogs outside. Oh, I said it. But they just went before stream, so they're fine. Um, and that cold air that just blasts you right in the face. And so you can't just walk around the house without, you know, at least some somewhat warmer clothes, like a, a sweatshirt hey, or a jumper or, or something like that. <laughs> and that's my beer, uh, AC. Okay. But you're more than welcome to grab a pint and chill out here. Welcome on in. How was your stream? You were playing some Grim Dawn. I don't think I've heard of that game. Can you uh, clue us in? Um, and Raiders, my name is Uncle Wooly. This is my first playthrough of Silent Hill 3. 
but we're just getting started with stream. So if you want to say hello to the stream puppies, Roxy's Jack Russell on the left there. She's 14. Uh, Lucy's being elusive. Oh, wait, she's there to greet the Raiders. There you go, Lucy. So there's Lucy. She's a five-year-old Shih Tzu. And our uh, little boy, Charlie, he's on vacation with DJ Wife. So uh, he's not currently here, but I can uh, show you Charlie in the emotes. And Charlie, uh, he said he's on vacation. So he said, you're going to have to deal with it. <laughs> but AC, thank you very, very much for 10 months. My goodness. Finished up a short post-work stream and thought I'd try out the raid feature. Well, I appreciate that you tried it out over here. Much, much appreciated. How are you doing? Hopefully you're doing well. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Uh, Raiders, the dogs are just infinitely more adorable and awesome than I could ever be. So people really hang out for them. And uh, my mediocre gameplay and terrible puns are just side content, really. Grimdark is a dark fantasy uh, ARPG that's a spiritual successor to Diablo 2. Okay. Oh my goodness. What are you doing, Hegel? No. AC, Jose, and Hegel, thank you very much for kicking off that hype train. Hegel, gifted subs to... Uh, Eonzen, uh, Robbie, uh, uh, on Christian, and uh, Wizard. Oh, and Brick as well. Uh, if any of you are lurking or hanging out, make sure you thank Hegel for the gifted subs. Thank you very much, dude. That is way too generous. Way, way too generous. We're just hyping here with the puppy dogs. Let me, uh, since we're hyping, I suppose I can take uh, the other music down. Swing it the hype music. <laughs> We're just getting started. What are you guys doing with this hype train? Tell you what, we'll do a we'll do a T R E A T. Yeah, we'll get one of those for the hype train. On the house. On the house. Hey, goal. Good luck. Good luck getting the monsters to bed. <laughs> Good luck, good luck. And we did get some new puppy treats in too. Uh, I don't have them up here tonight. Um, they just came in the post today, but uh, our good friend Jack uh, gave us some puppy treats, some new ones. So we'll get those in, uh, in the rotation soon. And Jack, thank you for the resub at nine months. That's a Twitch baby. You're gonna have to name that thing. And Scruffy with the gifted sub, Oh my goodness, and that went to Bad Ombre. Bad Ombre, make sure you thank uh, Scruffy if you're hanging about. Oh yeah, I love the witch hat on Gandalf too. Yeah, I love those. <laughs> All right, puppy dog. Hi. 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 Thank you, AC, for the raid. Scruffy, thank you for the gifted sub. Hegel, thank you for the five gifted. Jack, thank you for nine months. And AC and Jose, thank you both for 10 entire lovely months. Thank you very, very much. Oh my goodness. I don't even know how to proceed. I'm not used to this. <laughs> Hyping this early in the stream, I just don't know. Right, rocks? We don't know what to do. I don't know what to do with my hands. I don't know what to do with my hands. Yeah, Ro Roxy's a little sus. Just a little bit. <laughs> Welcome on in, everybody. Grab a refreshment if you don't have one. Get some hydration and uh, roast. Cheers. Salud, slancha, whatever you prefer. 
whatever's your favorite uh, method of saying cheers. Our beer today is the Oktoberfest from Goose Island uh, AC. And I've been really leaning into the Oktoberfest this year. Um, I have quite a bit in my fridge to get through, but I think all the unique ones, uh, including this one tonight, I think we've had at least one of each of the unique ones. I'm sure. So that was kind of my goal. If I find any other ones before the season ends, I'll uh, definitely sneak another one in or two. <laughs> Welcome in, Jack, uh, Hagel, Jose, uh, AC, thanks for the raid, uh, Strufty, good to see you, dude, Mattis Dog, Sword, you all are way too nice. <laughs> and um, AC, you just got done streaming uh, before your raid, so if you need to raid and run to take care of those post-stream self-care needs, including hydration, food, you name it, take care of yourself. I'm not kicking you out. You can stay as long as you wish, and that includes all your raiders, but uh, yeah. Welcome on in. Scruffy cheers, dude. And thank you all for the hype train. My goodness. Uh, I'm going to redeem the puppy treat just so we're on proper rotation for the stream here. Uh, my goodness. Level three. Thank you very, very much again. Uh, gifted sub from Scruffy. Five gifted from Hagel. And the resubs from Jack, AC, and Jose, thank you very, very much. My goodness. I think we can start stream now, right? <laughs> I can at least give you uh, this awesome track from the Silent Hill 3 uh, uh, title music here. Mm, beer. Mm, beer. Jack, let me know what you want for a custom sound. And we'll get that going. Mostly inventory management in Grim Dawn. My goal is to beat it before October is over. So I've been doing more frequent, uh, shorter streams. Uh, we're well on track to beat the base game, but I'll have a few more streams for the DLCs. Okay. Very cool. If you're looking for a good game to start up, I believe base game is 25, and their new DLC slated for 2024. Okay. I'll have to look at that, AC. Sounds like a lot of fun. Sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, I love this song. The music in the Silent Hill games is amazing. And for those wondering, too, um, back here is the vinyl. This is the backside of the vinyl. So it's Claudia, and she's got, like, the blood on her face and everything. Uh, the other flip side of that is uh, Heather. Uh, but that is the Silent Hill 3 vinyl back there. Um, thoughts on it? So far, it's more difficult than 2, for sure. Uh, the enemy types are a lot more aggressive, I would say. 2 felt like I could probably run through the whole thing with barely getting hit. Uh, but this one's a lot more difficult. Um, and the hitboxes for the items or like finding things or knowing what you need to interact with, the hitboxes are just a bit off in this one because there was a couple times where i spent way too much time running around trying to figure out what to do when things just wouldn't activate uh that i had already been by or or try to use items on so that's kind of my only real complaint on it so far i'm enjoying the story um story's great which is what i would expect from silent hill but uh yeah just some of the the item and hit boxes are just kind of for lack of better terms, just a little bit janky. But I'm enjoying it. I love the series. Um, and the first game is just amazing. So yeah, we are uh, made it to the amusement park. And yeah, uh, what do we have for items here? Because we just picked something up. I feel like we're pretty low on items after we uh, after we fought Leonard. Leonard was a tough fight. Leonard was a real tough fight. I was kind of just a bit emotionally drained after that fight, so we didn't make it too much further into the game. 
know I got some enemies outside that I just do not want to contend with. Uh, what are you looking at there, Heather? Oh, ampule. Nice. Oh, and beef jerky. Very nice. That's one thing about these games. As you walk, your character will kind of look at things uh, that are of interest. And that kind of helps with uh, item discovery. Uh, ampules are like a stamina thing. But also health, I don't quite know how they work. This is the stuff. It'll wipe out all the pain and help recover my strength. Yeah. I think it's like a higher dosed uh, health kit kind of thing. Or maybe it grants so, so much time of like invincibility or something. I forget how they exactly work. Oh. Oh, look at that. Got some handgun bullets right there. I would have missed those. And there's your save point there. But is there anything else? Nope, I don't think so. Definitely want to save again. And if anybody knows uh, a little more information on what the ampules do, uh, feel free to let me know on that. That's definitely not a spoiler as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, and that's kind of been in the game since the first one, I think. I know it definitely was in the second game. Okay, I'm not ready to go out here with these monsters quite yet, but we're near a save point, so we're fine, right? Restores health and stamina, okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, I hate these. I hate these ones so much. Those are some of my least favorite enemies in the entire game. Oh boy. Go, 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 Heather. Oh, no, no, no. The noise they make, how they move, everything about them, I really dislike them. Not a fan. Alright, so this is where I died in the dream, I think. This must be a gadget to control a roller coaster. Okay, I don't know how to make it work, though. There's a power switch on the left-hand side. Well, Oh, sweet health drink times two very nice what the hell is this I feel like I'd catch something nasty if I touched it uh, I really better not mess with it not that I especially want to yeah well, let's just not huh? looking at there, Heather. Oh, we did turn it off there, though. I was checking this game out the other day. Looks interesting. Balls, welcome in. Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, have you played any of the Silent Hill games before? Uh, Silent Hill 3 has uh, been a trip. I'd say out of the first two, gameplay-wise, two is far superior than one. Uh, I'm very nostalgic for one since I played that one back in the day, but uh, the enhanced edition of two was just a treat. I really, really enjoyed that. Uh, come on, don't fall. We've come too far to die here, Heather. Okay. Pauls, how was your Wednesday, dude? Hopefully you're doing well. All right. Oh boy. See, this happened in the dream. Uh, get off the track, Heather. Get off the track, Heather.
Uh, come January, I'll slow down a bit and may try it. All right. Uh, 12 hour days. That's rough, dude. I hired you to find the girl. And do you perform serviceably? What is it now? Oh, Douglas. Lied to me about Heather, lady. I don't like being used. Lie? What lie? That Heather was kidnapped. But it's true. She was originally one of us. That man, Harry Mason, stole her away and kept her hidden from us. Yeah. I wonder why. <laughs> she said she was happy. She was brainwashed by him. Deceived. Because her true self had not yet awoken. She carries God within her. But when a lesser mother of God truly awakens... Yeah, what's gonna happen? Yeah. She will usher in the eternal paradise. <laughs> what kind of place is that? A place with no pain, no hunger, no sickness, no old age. There will be no greed or war, and all will live by God's grace alone. No this, no that, no nothing. A paradise? For castrated sheep, maybe. Sounds <laughs> good and boring. And I pity you. I like Douglas. Still don't understand. If I could pause, I would say hello. But hello, DJ wife. Hello, Callie. Good to see you. You're going to kill me. Is it really so easy for you? I've done it before. I agree uh, walking on that AC would be quite terrifying because I'm not a fan of heights. So I'm right there with you. Walking on that track would be really quite terrifying. DJ wife, welcome. Good to see you. Hello, Callie. Good to see you. Aw. That's all right. <laughs> We're... If if there's anybody around here that's an expert at awkward timing, that that's me. <laughs> there's a ticket booth, but there's nothing unusual about it, except maybe where it's located. Just maybe. Oh, these background noises. Popcorn wagon. Nothing very interesting about it, but this popcorn doesn't look right. I don't think I'll be having any. But then again. I wouldn't eat anything else here either. Good idea, Heather. That's a good idea. Okay, so into, there we go. What's the sign say? Does it say anything? Nothing written on it, okay. It's probably supposed to have the ride's wait time on it or something. Yeah, let's pretend that's it. Oh, look at the pumpkins. I totally forgot to wear my uh, pumpkin glasses tonight. Borley Haunted Mansion. That's all right. The game can be the, uh, the scary part. Oh, hey. Little save point. Nice little save point there. Very cool. Nice little haunted mansion here. Very nice. The mansion looks barely haunted to me. Oh, goodness. AC, that's Welcome a good one. Welcome to the Borley Haunted Mansion. That's a good one. We're so glad you came. Please come inside and look around. When you feel you're ready, then go through the door. Okay. Uh, bear with me one second here. Here we are. I was going to give AC the laughter of approval. Uh, here you go. <laughs> You're psyched for this part? You enjoy the haunted mansion? 
Joe's saying. Why is that? Because I felt I had to. Anyway, I'm lying. It's all just a joke. Oh, sure it is. I wanted to scare you, that's all. The truth is, only one person died by suicide. Oh. Good work with the camera angles in this game. Are you, are you departing our company, Jose? That part's cool. Oh, that's creepy. Oh. Yeah, I can tell. His hometown is New Orleans, but he came here after first losing his way. Oh, maybe you might know. Where is the path to heaven? Um, not sure. But I can't get past Danny, can I? Nope. Sometimes the Oof. floor suddenly gives way, and beneath the floor, there's nothing. Okay. So I have to go this way, then. And it's gonna... yeah. I'm so sorry. This place is just falling apart. The mechanism is broken, you see. It wasn't supposed to stop there, I assure you. There's the exit. I hope you enjoy <laughs> your tour. Please come back anytime. Or if you'd prefer, we could come and visit you instead. Ooh, that's fun. That is fun. Uh, that was supposed to be the exit, but it seems that no one wants you to leave. Everyone really likes you. Oh boy. Oh, can we go through there? Nope. Oh, we're dead. Okay, cool. So this is actually deadly. <laughs> All right, so does that make us go through the whole thing? Yeah, instant death. Apparently red, mist, fog, whatever, uh, it's deadly. All right, so we need to make another tour. That's kind of painful. Let's, uh, let's do a little ex exploration here, because we didn't do much before. See if there are any items or anything hanging about. Eh, nope, OK. Okay, so we have to do. That's Danny. That's Danny. This mansion is quite old, so please, I'm so sorry. This place is just falling apart. The mechanism is broken, you see. It wasn't supposed to stop there, I assure you. Okay, so you get to skip most of it. Okay, 
say, is that the end of it? Or do we have more? Oh, we got more. Oh, wait. Yep. Oh, goodness. Goodness me. Hurry up, Heather. Come on now. Okay. But now we have monsters to deal with. Oh, nope. Oh boy. Keep going. Keep going, Heather. way. Okay. Maybe we put out some beef jerky. Good, not good, not good. Uh, health drink. Uh, let's just keep kicking. Okay. So she's looking at something here. Home here. Uh, wouldn't that work? For what? Exactly. Oh, the noises. The noises in this game, I tell you. Oh boy. I need to not die from this thing. Feel a little bit better. Now we can actually explore. There's a dead body inside this box thing. There's nothing of interest here. Yeah, I hate that the uh, the buttons when I try to go to the next dialogue option. It uh, kind of skips past them sometimes. All right, there's that gate there. I feel like there's something I'm missing. Swing rocket. Okay. Let's go over to this spot because I think we haven't been this way. Wish I had a map. Yeah, that was frightening. 
Health drink, shotgun shells. That's really nice. Flyer for some kind of musical for kids. It's like they did it on the stage. This place is empty now, but I'll bet it was packed that day. Uh, I would hope that it wasn't packed in this state. What is that? What did I just pick up? Chain. Okay. It's pretty sturdy anyway. Something on the stage, and it feels like something's going to hop out at me if I grab this. Popcorn wagon. Oh, is this the map? Please tell me this is the map. It's about Huey the horse, one of the park's mascots. But that's a lot of information that I really don't need right now. <laughs> Aw, but Huey looks so cute. Oh, what about this? Kathy the kitty, one of the park's mascots. Come on. They sound interesting. Wait. It's about Don the duck. Yeah, can we just uh, hang out and learn about the mascots of the park? Oh boy. Oh boy. So maybe the chain works here? I don't know. Catch the chain to the column. This half is fine. Better do something with the other half, though. Okay, can't use it there. Stardust, welcome in. Good to see you. Welcome on in. Happy Wednesday. Hopefully you're doing well. Um, let's see here. Attach it to one of these. resting oh i am uh sorry to hear that i'm sending uh healing vibes your way and hopefully uh things look better for you soon um of course you know i'm not gonna pry and uh don't feel obligated to share anything more than you want to but uh definitely wishing you the best uh can we get some hearts in chat for stardust please Okay, I need to attach the chain somewhere else, but it looks like the only things I have to attach to are there. Maybe just this? No, that's not it. That's not it. How about here? How about over here? Or maybe we attach it to the box with the dead person, but it just doesn't seem like the chain's out. Or maybe this gate? Oh. How strange. Oh, it's going to rip that gate right off, isn't it? <laughs> Excellent. I was going to say either that or the chain's just going to break. Well, that worked out well. 
Uh, of course, naturally, I missed what that was. Okay, it wasn't a main item. Oh, some machine gun bullets. Nice. About time I got some ammo. Starting to run low. Starting to run low. All right. Douglas. You're late. Are you hurt? Can't move my right leg. It's broken. I'll call an ambulance. What? <laughs> Yeah, you old fool. Sorry. Why did you have to do that for me? What'll I do if you die? Aw, guilt trip him, Heather, my lord. <laughs> What'll we do if this god thing gets born? <laughs> Come on. How powerful could a god from a dump like this be? Oh, this music is so good. But anyway, something's gonna happen. Uh, who knows? Maybe we'd all be better off if it did. Hmm. But I don't know about that. I don't want to see any more of him. That's a pretty good reason to risk my life, don't you think? Plus. Old fool, right? Yeah. You think you're Superman or something? You know, I always wanted to be him. Besides, yeah. I want to help you out. You don't have to feel responsible. I know it's not your fault. You, you remind me of my son. You said nobody was going to cry for you. Dead people don't cry. I was about to say, yeah. Stupid kid got himself shot robbing a bank. But why? Maybe because his pop was a penniless good for nothing. Who knows? Anyway, now I guess I'll never find out. <sighs> Sorry. I shouldn't have said you reminded me of a guy like that. <laughs> well, maybe if you had compared me to your daughter. <laughs> <sighs> Listen, I'll take care of the rest. You stay here and I'll be back when it's over. You'll be okay by yourself. Hey, no problem. Dad's not around anymore, so only I can do this. Oh. What are you doing, Douglas? What are you doing? Maybe killing you here is the only way to end this nightmare. He got his leg broken. You might be right. And now he's aiming his pistol at us. But he's not going to do it. Oof. That was tense. Oh, this popcorn stand. Uh, yeah. Landed on top of the rabbit. This car seems pretty heavy. What happened to the person inside? Mm, you don't want to know. You're asking too many questions. Wait, is there something back there? 
Oh, what is that down there? Maybe just a panel or something? Look like eyes. I'll leave Douglas to uh, think on his actions. Save point. Client, Claudia Wolf, request, searching for, then infant, Alessa Gillespie, kidnapped by man named Harry Mason. No word from police, kidnap location, unknown. Old Silent Hill newspaper article, Alessa Gillespie, seven, dead in fire. Links to current case to be investigated. Priority low. Using alias Heather. Neighbors do not know real name. What is she hiding? Okay, so that's Dougie Boy's notebook there. We got a doll head. That's nice. Silver cup and candlestick on the table. It looks like it has some meaning, but I really don't know what that is right now. I missed the dialogue there, too. Yeah, the buttons are real finicky in this one. Fortune teller. One word. No map still. That's... Gotta love it. It'd be cute enough on a normal doll, but just ahead, downright creepy. Agreed. Did you look at something there, Heather? There's something over here. Oh, okay. This is probably locked. Oh, it's open. Oh, boy, that's not creepy. Not at all. Snow White doll. Not a fan. Not a fan of that. There's photos on the ground. What's this? I got teens. I got teens. I got teens. <laughs> you made it. My beans. beans! It's beans is what it is, Strufty. You generous human. Spicy bean reaper. I already love that. It's bound to pair not so well with anything of the other bean. Reaper pairs well with nothing. Um, ugh. Tutti Fruity or Stinky Socks. Gotta love that. Gotta love that, Strufty. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Uh, let's pop over here. Uh, the Pepper X beating out the Carolina Reaper, yeah. And it's basically the same guy. Uh, smoking the arms of the angel. Hobo, thank you. Uh, that's what's about to happen with this uh, Carolina Reaper double bean supreme with either stinky socks or tutti frutti. Strufty. So it's really hot. I think the uh, the Reaper took out some of the toot out of the fruit, if you know what I mean. Because it, it was tutti fruity. But the Reaper just like destroys your palate. I don't know how else to describe it. 
Popo Baggins, welcome in, dude. <coughs> welcome in. Yeah, the uh, Pepper X uh, and the, what is it, the latest season of uh, Hot Ones has that Pepper X uh, as part of their last tab. Yeah, it's uh, took the, the fruit out of the toot and it's just toots now. <laughs> it's all that got left. Shrefty, thanks for the beans. Cheers, dude. Ugh, and the beer tastes gross after that. Because uh, if anybody's had spice of that magnitude, I uh, can tell you <clears throat> that it makes like malt or like things that are sweet taste moldy. Uh, yeah, it's gross. Ah, and it's stuck in my tooth. But in his eagerness to show off the Carolina Reaper, he sent out a bunch of seeds with it. So everyone just grew it themselves. I mean, that's fair. The man is all about, he's a, a sadist, I is my guess, because he just wants to see other people experience pain. And that's what happens. Are these photos of the dolls? Cinderella on the left and Snow White on the right, but something's wrong. So they're looking down. So do we use a shoe on, on Cinderella? Yeah. So that must cast the correct shadow, I'm guessing. Tonight's left overnight with, uh, which means odd combinations of dinner. Well, what's your, your odd combo? I bet it's better than Carolina Reaper and Tutti Frutti. Like, what is to tell you that the doll's head is what needs to go there? It's just so strange. So something else needs to happen here. Okay, so it's got the shadows of that stuff. Could have sent me a band shirt with that brass instead. Yeah, right? <laughs> May have just picked up a Razer Stream controller for $40. I'll add that to the list of useful tools I'm going to ignore. Well, that's the uh, the one of Loop Deck, right? The door shut tight and won't budge no matter how hard I push. Uh, I think some people have been using that to run certain scripts. Uh, I'm sure you can do that with uh, um, Streamer Bot, you know, run scripting and stuff like that. But it's uh, kind of a different way of doing it. This is the dragon that guards the treasure chest. It's just a prop and not scary at all. No, I'm not scared one bit. <laughs> Cheeseburger with a side of spinach, Alfredo ravioli. And and that's bad wine. <laughs> I get that it's not a traditional pairing, but uh, that sounds good. Oh boy. Give me a map of this place, will you? Dolly is the one who said it. Said that girl was a demon, that she took my daughter for a sacrifice. But it's not totally believable. I mean, appearances can be deceiving. When I saw that photo in the hospital basement, I thought, that girl looks like Cheryl. Is that why I feel this way? Something's not normal, anyway. Nothing good will come of this, but I just can't think of her as a demon. Is it my imagination, or do I actually feel sorry for her? Why do I feel like she's looking for someone to help? Cheryl's what's important to me. Everything else can wait until I've gotten her back. There's a date and a signature at the end. It's dated some 17 years earlier and signed by Harry. Dad? Yep. Nice. So we're at the uh, part of the amusement park where Harry was at. And something big is chasing us that I really don't like the noise of. My goodness. truth but uh would i give you or what would i give you when we meet in person that's true 
Pod doesn't have to be bad after all. That's true. <laughs> That sounds uh, tastefully explicit there, Mattis. And I imagine that it actually would happen to. What is that? Oh, the camera angles just get so goofy in this. Really grisly stuff, yeah. Truly terrifying. <laughs> oh my goodness, that emote is definitely uh, Meat Canyon style. For those unfamiliar with it, watch it on YouTube uh, if you feel, you know, so inclined. It's uh, definitely the opposite of uh, the type of content you'll you'll find here. Oh boy. Uh, these, this carousel looks exponentially more messed up than last time. It's the only one not moving. Is it because it was stabbed in the head? Yeah, probably. Oh, there's a note. Memo pinned to the horse's side with a huge nail. When 13 turns count four, you will die from their curse. If you wish to escape, there is but one way out. To kill before you are killed, you will be saved by the 12th death. Okay. One. Three. Yep. Four. Not a fan of this either. Five. Do I need to use an ampule? Um, feels like I'm out of energy here. Is that seven? It would be lovely if these dogs would stop wrestling for 10 seconds, but only if that doesn't involve the puppy shifting its focus to me. <laughs> oh, Strufty. Oh, we need to start focusing on the inside ones now. them all I'm scared oh wait there's more we probably died because I didn't kill them fast enough yep I was going to say, if so, that's a really cinematic death. Oh, 
she's gonna turn around. She's like cursed or something. Oh boy. Don't like that. Oh, I get to fight myself. This is wonderful. Okay. Uh, prediction time. You think I'm going to get this on first try? Uh, throw in some channel points on yes if you have faith. No, if you're a realist, you've been here before. You know what to expect. Uh, prediction is open. And just to uh, maybe just lighten the mood a little bit while that prediction runs out. Uh, let's just get you some gentler background music and maybe some puppy camera. Oof. That sound is just uh, fueling my anxiety. That's pretty rough. That is pretty rough. Dang. AC and Mattist uh, throwing in some hefty points. And we got somebody who's realist. Very nice. I bet that's either Strufty or Hobo. Is my guess. No, Hobo's a, a faither too. Nice. I've uh, this is the first playthrough of the game for me, so I don't know what to expect from any of these bosses. <laughs> uh, prediction is open. Channel point prediction is open uh, for about another minute here. If you want to throw away some channel points. It's been rainy here all day, so Lucy has not wanted to go OUT. Uh, she uh, she's definitely will melt if she goes out in the conditions. If the boss hits you enough, you'll die. Thanks for the spoiler alert. Okay. Thanks for the spoiler alert, AC. <laughs> Aren't they just sweet girls, Stardust? Yeah, Lucy, the one on the right, she just doesn't handle the wet. She's like, nah, I'll stay inside, thank you. <laughs> All right, that was good while it lasted, right? Thank you for getting those predictions in, and uh, we're going to get going here. I'm not about this life either. Uh, we need some firepower, I think. Oh, I don't like that. Oh boy. All right, so that's four shots. We should probably reload. Uh, don't like this. It's so cramped. Not a fan with what this is doing. Oh boy. Oh, nope. Nope. You gotta reload, Heather. Got one more shot. Let's make it count. No, we did not make it count. Oh, no, don't get pistol whipped. Don't do that. Oh, boy. Sorry. <laughs> Good catch. Uh, wow. That's interesting. That was an interesting fight, huh? Yeah. Thank you for letting me know. So she did this, and she did her little warp thing once. Uh, and we got a few shots of the shotgun. <laughs> oh, boy. Sorry about that. You're going to have to believe me. I wish you were there.
It's almost like the uh, lyrics from uh, Tribute by uh, Tenacious D. <laughs> you gotta believe me. Wish you were there. Just a matter of opinion. Oh, the noises. The squelchy noises are uh, quite awful. Oh, not making those shots count. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> We're out of ammo with that. I don't want to waste my hey, submachine gun ammo, so that's we're gonna my save beer. That. Hey, Bun, welcome in. Thanks for the raid, Raiders. Good to see you. My name is Uncle Wooly. This is my first playthrough of Silent Hill Three. Um, very unsettling music, so I understand if those uh, want to, you know, <laughs> jump off. But uh, we're in the middle of a boss fight here. Welcome on in. Let me give you a proper shout out, Bun. Here we go. And Raiders, my name's Uncle Wooly. This is my first playthrough of Silent Hill 3. Welcome on in, Alien Goddess. Good to see you. Welcome in. And uh, if you haven't met my stream puppies before, Roxy's a Jack Russell on the left. She's 14. Lucy's a Shih Tzu on the right. She's 5. And not with us tonight is Charlie because he's on vacation. He says deal with it with his emotes. <laughs> um, all of them are just infinitely more adorable and awesome than I could ever be. So uh, people hang out for them. Uh, I'm just side content with mediocre puns and uh, just terrible, terrible gameplay. <laughs> Actually, the puns are terrible. The gameplay is mediocre. <laughs> but welcome in, Raiders. Uh, we're in a tense moment here, so I'm going to try to finish this boss battle. Uh, Bun, Raiders, if you need a raid and run, I totally understand. Please take care of your post-stream self-care needs, including hydration, food, you name it. Not kicking you out. You're welcome to stay as long as you wish. And uh, if you have preferred nicknames, preferred pronouns, um, any of our raiders, feel free to share those in chat. I do want to make sure you feel welcome. And uh, I'll remember to pull the puppy cam off this time, okay? We remember. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, this one's pretty tough. Oh, boy. No, 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 no. Stop that. Not a fan of that. Just uh, whipping out the uh, submachine gun on me. Yeah, two full mags from my SMG. Should have done way more damage than that. <laughs> uh, let's probably heal. We're not doing well. We're not doing too hot. Get her, Heather. Oh boy. Yeah, that hurt. That hurt. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Please tell me that's it. Please tell me that's it. Yes, let's go.
Well, that was awful. It would be better for myself to die. After all, it's nothing to be afraid of. That child, that demon, when I think of the endless pain, it will bring when it's birth. I decided that instead of the suffering and cruelty I endured in that sick room, that I would like to bestow a more gentle and peaceful death on myself. Why do I resist? I never thought of myself as such a fool. Alessa. I guess it's kind of strange for me to call you that since Oh, I'm you sorry. Are What's me. this? Seven <laughs> contiguous segments giving me longest road and a sweet <laughs> 10 points for the win. A, a booyah. booyah. Strefty, thank you, dude. Thanks for the GGs. Uh, but you know what? You and I don't think alike after all. And it's not that I don't remember that sick room either. Interesting. Okay. So we just murdered ourselves. I don't know what kind of lesson that's meant to uh, convey here, but uh, yeah, that happened. That pretty much happened. Uh, let's resolve the channel point prediction. Those that had faith tonight, you're in for some points. You're in for some points. And uh, those that didn't have faith, well, you know, too bad. <laughs> if that was us, did you win or lose? I'm going to take it as a win. I'm still allowed to play the game, so I'm, I'm guessing that's a win. <laughs> uh, AC, Hobo Baggins, uh, Mattis Dog, enjoy your points. Enjoy your points. Um, I'm going to heal. I don't trust what's ahead. Oh, that is unnecessarily wet sounding but again thank you for the raid bun can we get some hearts in chat for bun please alien goddess good to see you as well nice to meet you tonight i give to you unreservedly my body and my eternal soul whatever darkness may befall me i will endure with you beside me Okay. As proof of your miraculous power, guide our obedient and willing souls to the road of paradise, O Lord. We will not give in to the power of temptation as long as we have you in our hearts. Ah, this is cult speech right here. O Lord, save us with your compassion. O Lord, shower us with your blessings. O Lord, favor us with your abundance. Can't go that way. There's something written on the door. This door is the gate which leads to the road to paradise. Embrace the bosom of the Holy Mother. Admit your sins and be forgiven. Eternal tranquility can be yours. What's the price? Hmm? What's the price to admittance? <laughs> uh, it sounds boring. How did you get here? It was Vincent, wasn't it? He led you here. When will he cease his meddling? I don't like the sound of that. Checkmate. Not yet. The time is not yet at hand. The time when all will be forgiven their sins. When the paradise we have long dreamed for will arrive. After the judgment and atonement and eternity of bliss. Oh, Alessa. The world you wanted is nearly here. That's not what I want. We're not Alessa, lady. Not you. Alessa. Your true self. Mm -hmm. But I am Alessa. Ooh. My little Claudia. My dear, sweet sister. Alessa. Is it you? Oh, how I've missed you. I 
don't need another world. It's fine the way it is. But you said it yourself. The world must first be cleansed with fire. But that's not what I want now. <laughs> Odessa, don't you want happiness? Have you become blind to all the hopeless suffering in the world? We need, we all need God's salvation. Listen, suffering is a fact of life. Either you learn how to deal with that or you go under. You can stay in your own little dream world, but you can't keep hurting other people. The controller is really rumbling. Besides, I'll never forgive you for hurting my father. I wish only for the salvation of mankind. Mm -hmm. But for that to happen, the world must first be remade. And for that, we need God. You self-righteous witch! No one asked you to help! Oh, it's growing within you. You despise me, don't you? You're damn right I do! <laughs> Claudia is menacing. Not a big fan. Well, we're definitely in the lows of it here, AC. <laughs> definitely get our save on here. The Eye of Night tarot card. So, little question for those that uh, have played this game before. Uh, do you think we're kind of in territory of finishing the game tonight? Or do uh, you think it's going to be another stream after this? This is where I need to be. There's no reason to go back to... Oh, okay. <clears throat> so, that's the amusement park door. So, are we just blindly following Claudia. Can we play some piano? Nothing I can do with the organ. I don't know how to play anyway. Come on. Give it a try. Oh, something's on the wall. Chapel. Got the church map. Very nice. Very nicely drawn. At least we get a map in this one. I have a feeling that there's someone on the other side of the door. And burst in guns blazing. I know I'll be protected for the sins I've committed. And I'll go into Bethlehem and with a peaceful heart. But please, grant me just a small piece of your everlasting mercy. Yeah, I'm not trusting it either, AC. Let me see my <laughs> child once within your golden gates. Deliver me not to hell, but to purgatory. Allow me to atone for my sins there. I'll stand within the very flames of redemption, no matter how they burn me. Forgive me for my wicked act of revenge. And deliver the soul of my poor murdered daughter. Ugh. Also care for the soul of the girl whose life I have taken. God, I am a child, trembling with fear as I stare at death. Hold my tortured soul with your infinite mercy. Please, forgive me. 
So is this Claudia or is this a different different woman? All right, what will we do? Say, I forgive you, don't say anything. Can I do a poll? Hopefully I don't run out of time. What to say? I forgive you, nothing. Uh, poll is open. I'm assuming that's Claudia too, Stardust. Uh, if you guys want to pick what I say, uh, feel free to vote in the poll. Poll is open. Please don't tie it up. Please. Please don't tie it up. Hey, Faye, welcome in. Welcome in. Good to see you. How's your Wednesday? Uh, feel free to vote in the poll too. We do have a poll going for uh, the option we're going to pick in the game here. Poll is open for at least another minute here. This kind of uh, sadness is uh, very discomforting. Give you, a, hopefully, some comforting puppy cam <laughs> while the poll winds down here. Those that haven't cast your votes in the poll of what we're going to do in-game, feel free to do so. Got some sleepy puppies tonight. Got some sleepy puppy dogs. Yep. Free serotonin from puppies. That's true. Huh, Lucy? Are you a serotonin delivery mechanism? Huh, dog? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> of course, now it's tied up. Somebody please break the tie before the poll runs out. Somebody please. Wonderful. I appreciate that. Um, I appreciate that. Let's all say this. If this is Claudia, I don't want to say forgive you, right? But. But. If it's somebody else, I'd want to say, yeah. You hadn't voted, Shrefty? I'll take you at your word. So that would have broke the tie. So I'll say don't say anything. And I'm going to remember to uh, pull the camera away here. All right. We're not going to say anything. That's nice. Yeah, let's throw our flashlight back on here. Oh, wait. Do I have a gun equipped? That's weird that it automatically equipped a gun for me. Kind of strange. Ugh. Not a fan of that. Right? You murdered my father. Not exactly going to take mercy on you. Oh, oh, oh. Go, go, go. This person, not quite maybe, but I don't feel like pulling back the sheets to see. That's a good call. Oh boy, big boy. Run, run. 
My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. My name is Heather Mason. You killed Harry. Prepare to hear nothing. <laughs> There's a picture here of an angel flying into the heavens. Nothing special. I don't like this. This is very uncomfortable. Oh boy. It's a nice, uh, very large save spot right there. Saint Alessa, Mother of God, Daughter of God. This picture, that's me. I'm holding the baby. And and I'm the baby being held? The me that wanted death and disappeared with God 17 years ago. And the me here and now that sought life. Weird. Saint Nicholas, Miraculous Hands, a Doctor of God. Okay, there's the door we came in, and this one, St. Jennifer, Unwavering Faith Under Death's Blade. I take it there's really nothing we can do here. Yeah, all right. Got our save on, though. That's pretty nice. St. Nick? Yeah. Still a ways away. See, ah, oh, that is, oh, that crying is just uh, raising the hairs on the back of my neck because it feels like it's in the room with me with how loud my headphones are. Oh boy. Oh, thank goodness. Ooh, that's a very uncomfortable camera angle right there. Wow. This is why I love these old school horror games. And I say old school, this one isn't extremely old. It was in the early 2000s, but I love the camera angles and the cinematography of how they set up all these shots because it just is so impactful to the story and how you feel as a character. Um, yeah. Any, uh, any moths around? <laughs> There's a bunch of papers in this file. I get the feeling that it's a handwritten copy of some book. Represents the deity known as the Halo of the Sun. In hel heraldry, uh, symbolizes a religious group. The two outer circles are charity and resurrection. The three inner circles are present, past, and future. Usually drawn in red, occasionally drawn in black or other colors, but blue reverses the meaning into a curse on God and is therefore forbidden. Interesting. As soon as I sent that, a moth actually started fluttering against my window. Oh my lord. <laughs> that, yeah, you summoned it. That's creepy. That is super creepy, AC. Uh, lap blanket. Don't think I'll need it. I'm not cold. Are you sure? Oh, we got a cassette tape. There's no label, but the tab's been removed. It might be worth checking out. So we need a player for that. Found this in the chapel. Is it a real tarot card, though? So where else have we not been to in, in the chapel? Looks like there's a doorway um, over there. 
that I haven't tried yet. So we're gonna go out of here, take a right, and then take a left at the intersection. There we go. So I think I've been through pretty much everywhere here. Except for maybe getting some of the stuff in this room. Oh boy. Get away from big boy here. At least they're slow. Yep, get out of there. At least those guys are slow too. All right, so we've been here before. Circle means reincarnation. That's what it said on the paper back there. So death isn't the end. Pretty good deal if you ask me. Thanks to reincarnation, I died as Alessa, but I'm still living as myself. But you know, just the thought of it is starting to turn my stomach. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Okay, so we can't do anything there. So what can we do here? Feels like we need to like light these candles because there's candles here in the corners. We maybe use that talisman here. Or was there a tape player in that room? All right, let's go see if we can find what to do with this tape. It's a plain old wheelchair, okay. Can't crawl under there or something. All right, gotta go straight. There's no tape layer there. <laughs> it says if I wrote it in blue, it would be a curse. There's something with this lamp. Maybe am I the moth? Oh boy. Yep, that hurt. Big boys are blocking the way here. more to be said.
Yeah, they did wall me in there. Okay. So can I just go out this way? Okay. Broken. And she says I don't want to go back to the amusement park. All right. Anything that can be done here? Birth. A man offered a serpent to the sun and prayed for salvation. A woman offered a reed to the sun and asked for joy. Feeling pity for the sadness that had overrun the earth, God was born from these two people. Okay. What about one? Is this one? Origin. In the beginning, people had nothing. Their bodies ached and their hearts held nothing but hatred. They fought endlessly, but death never came. They despaired, stuck in the eternal quagmire. That sounds horrible. Salvation. God made time and divided it into day and night. God outlined the road to salvation and gave people joy. And God took endless time away from the people. Thief of time. And that causes joy? Creation. God created beings to lead people in obedience to her. The red god, uh, Zuchilara. The yellow god, Lobsol Vith. Many gods and angels. Finally, God set out to create paradise where people could be happy just by being there. I don't know. This doesn't seem like paradise. Promise. But there God's strength ran out and she collapsed. All the world's people grieved this unfortunate event. Yet God breathed her last breath. She returned to the dust, promising to come again. Faith. So God hasn't been lost. We must offer our prayers and not forget our faith. We wait in hope for the day when the path to paradise will be opened. Somehow I remember this stained glass. It shows God and the man and woman who birthed her. I used to come to this chapel all the time when I was a little girl. I came to worship God and to ask for my prayers to be answered. But it wasn't exactly me. It was actually Alessa when she was a little girl. But anyway, none of my prayers were ever answered. Yeah, you take a minute, Heather. That's pretty rough stuff. Um, so what does this perfume do anyway? Makes me feel uneasy. Oh, wait. Do we use the pendant here? <laughs> well, let's just drop a safety save. Come on. I know you want it. See, this is what I mean uh, when I said this earlier in the stream, is the, uh, the hitboxes and stuff in this game are just a bit weird.
squishy boys over there. It's locked, but I don't know by what. combo doesn't make sense. Of course it doesn't. I'm trying to avoid killing these enemies too, because I just don't want to use the items. I feel like I could use those markers or something. There's markers there I can use. Oh boy, get out of there. Come on, let me through. Hate this. Th that is disgusting. What does that kill? <laughs> Cowardly. Thank you, Pilgor. I feel like I need the liquid courage to get through this. <laughs> Welcome in, dude. Good to see you. Cheers, cheers. Sipping on some Oktoberfest tonight. Uh, this one is the, the Goose Island. Big fan of Goose Island. I uh, went to the brewery in Chicago uh, in 2017. Very, very much enjoyed it. And they had a barrel-aged um, flight of, like, different barrel-aged beers of theirs, including uh, Bourbon County. Amazing, amazing, amazing stuff. The dual Great Shield guys in DS2? I can see that. So there's something going on here that we need to do, I think. Okay. Seems to like the perfume. Stop crying. Nope, never mind. That cries and footsteps disappeared behind it after all. Oh. Well, what do you know? Okay, now I'm really. Ugh. Really feeling uneasy here. Nope, nope, nope. Oh boy. Oh, that's like the assassin dude. Yeah, you get out of there, Heather. That's not good. Oh boy. We need healing items. Oh, give me healing items. I don't need scriptures. Tarot was based on the 22 Hebrew consonants and is said to represent the entire world. Each card, numbered 0 through 21, has a particular meaning. By reading these cards, fortune tellers predict the future. For example, the first card, the Magician, signifies creation, wisdom, beginnings, or destruction and fraud. Second card, the High Priestess, denotes intuition, harmony, faith, or dog dogmatism, and arrogance. According to some texts, the Gardener deck had more than 22 cards. Gardener deck does not exist today. It is mentioned only in the literature. It is said that these extra cards were based on lost Hebrew vowels and denoted an otherworldly, transcendental experience or existence, i.e. God. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, we've we've read it. Yeah, we get it. These books look like real mind benders. Think I'll leave them alone for now. Yeah, that's a good idea. Sheet of paper here, but it's blank. Got the moon tarot card. Okay. Oh, is this our buddy Vincent? Oh, creepy. Hiya, Heather. Oh, hiya. You show up <laughs> everywhere, don't you? You make me sound like some kind of unwanted pest. Yeah. <laughs> well, who are you anyway? Who are you? Haven't you realize that yet? Yeah, you're on Claudia's side. I told you not to put me in the same category as that mad woman. Well, you're pretty loony yourself. It's true. We believe in the same God. But I'm quite sane. Says who? So why did you help me out then? Was that also part of trying to resurrect God? It's not uncommon for people to worship the same God and still disagree. G God? Are you sure you don't mean devil? Whichever you like. The point is that now I really am on your side. Sure. I don't want God to be born. It wouldn't be... convenient. Much too unpredictable. So you've been using me to stop Claudia, is that it? Yeah. Do your own dirty work. My dirty work? I think we both had our own interests in mind. You hate her too, don't you? Also, yeah. You're the only one who can get it done. I don't have powers like you two. Besides, I always hated getting all hot, sweaty. He does seem like one who doesn't want to get his hands dirty. Oh, really? I'm just looking out for myself. Everyone does it. <laughs> don't stand there looking so smug. You're the worst person in this room. You come here and enjoy spilling their blood. And, and listening to them cry out. You feel excited when you step on them and snuff out their lives. Are you talking about the monsters? Just a joke. Ugh. He is slimy. I agree, AC. By the way, I forgot to ask you. Did you get the seal of Metatron? What's that? You don't have it? Leonard was carrying it. Oh, this whole thing? You mean this thing? Yes, that's it. As long as we have that, we're fine. Here, take this. Some light reading. the book other world laws well let's uh have a read shall we this magic square with strong protective and dispelling properties is called the virun seven crest or the seal of metatron 
It will bring results regardless of whether the target is good or evil. Its strength, therefore, places a very high burden on the caster, as it is also difficult to control. It is not usually used. This is why it bears the name Metatron, after the angel Metatron, or Metroton, also known as the agent of God. Yeah, it looks like a circle to me, too. Weird. Weird, weird. Tome of a Seer. Sounds like an occult book. I don't need this now. It's not my taste anyway. Hey. Hey. There's something. Silent Hills Ancient Gods, a study of their etymology and evolution. What a mouthful. There is no religion that has remained unchanged from the moment it was founded. This one is no exception. When this religion fell into the hands of immigrants, it was deeply influenced by their own original Christian beliefs. For example, the traditional representatives of these primal gods may be given the names and descriptions of Christian angels. Thus, shared characteristics uh, begin to appear. There's also one rare example of the chief deity, creator of paradise, or lord of serpents and reeds, being dubbed with a demon's name. Of course, this was not done by believers, but by their opponents. Okay. Yeah, it's weird that they called it a, a square. It's a book inside the box. No useful items, though. Okay, well, what is the book? Oh, is that a note we can read? All right, Heather, you spot anything? Anything useful at all? Guess not. Back into the death hallway. Oh boy. Oh, come on. We are in a very bad way. Low on healing items, low on ammo. Ugh. That is very unnerving. Let's definitely save here. Yeah, there was something crawling, and I just didn't want to see it. Nope. All right, so we got the tarot. Or I'm guessing maybe the tarot cards are our key. It's a goofy combo. Let's see if we can get by the wall again. Oh boy. Oh boy.
Hmm. All right. So this game really isn't doing well with clues in this section. And maybe I suppose it doesn't need to. But it just feels like there's no kind of clear path forward. Unless this area that's like right here has something. No way, Strupty, right? Just feeling a feeling a bit lost in this one. Like two just like I don't know what it was about two. Two seemed to really kind of jive with me. Two made a lot of sense. So let's see if that kind of like one open spot there does anything. Do another rolling save here just in case. We're definitely not getting any type of record on saves on this playthrough. That is A-OK -okay by me. grad student level knowledge of Shakespeare if you play oh yeah that's true uh, two has that uh, I did it on normal but this one is also on normal so I don't uh, understand why it's it's much more difficult all right so I can't go that way oh wait it's in the hey, next room here that's my beer <laughs> Hey, that's my beer, but you're more than welcome to grab a pint and chill out here. Romo dude, Raiders, how are you doing? Aqua, good to see you. Uh, J Unit, am I saying that right? J Unit, welcome in. Uh, Bloodstained Wings, good to see you. Uh, Raiders, my name is Uncle Wooly. This is my first playthrough of uh, Silent Hill 3. And if you have preferred pronouns, preferred uh, nicknames, feel free to share those in chat. I do want to make sure you feel welcome here. <laughs> but uh Kragen or Kragen, welcome in. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Um and Raiders, if you haven't met my puppy dogs, uh, there they are. Roxy's Jack Russell on the left, she's 14. Uh the little floof in the corner is Lucy, she's a five year old Shih Tzu, and uh currently on vacation, not with us tonight, is Charlie. He's a seven year old Pomeranian mix. He's saying deal with it in the emotes there. Uh, all of them infinitely more adorable and awesome than I could ever be. So people really hang out for them. Uh, my mediocre gameplay and terrible puns are just side content to the puppies. <laughs> uh, she and generally go by B-dubs. Well, B-dubs, welcome in. Good to see you. Thanks for sharing. Um, Got to run and get the foods. Love your puppers. Oh, Romo dude, enjoy. Please get uh, those post-stream self-care needs taken care of. Hearts and chat for Romo dude. Let me give you one of those proper, proper Twitch shoutouts here, dude. Good to see you. What were you playing? I'm guessing maybe more Liza P. Yep. Yep. It, who would have guessed, right? Uh, Aqua, how is your first playthrough of uh, Dark Souls treating you? And uh, whereabouts are you at? Also need to go to bed 5 a.m.? My goodness. Please get some well-deserved rest, B-dubs. Nice to meet you. Please take care. Please, please take care. Good to see you. It looks like you've been here before. Maybe probably from a Romo dude raid, I'm guessing. <laughs> Please have a good night. Good to see you. Hearts and chat for uh, Romo dude and all the raiders, please. And we're going to pop back over to our gameplay. Hopefully you all are having a good Wednesday or Thursday if you're already ahead in that time zone. 
All right, let's see if I can just not die here would be nice. Not being murdered here would be real nice. Sweet. Okay, that's what I needed to do. That's what I needed to do. Hey, thanks for the new follow. Much, much appreciated. Lock's broken. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah, this is making me feel very uneasy with these blind corners. Hope I can get some healing items here. Stun gun battery. We never picked up the stun gun, so uh, that's unfortunate. Musty diary on the bed. This writing, is this dad's diary? Why would it be here? I sometimes have the sense, even now, that that girl is a reincarnation of Alessa. I don't worry about it much now. That's all forgiven. You were unloved, Cheryl. Or was that Alessa? Now Cheryl is Alessa again. No matter whose reincarnation she may have been, that girl was my most beloved treasure. But that name was a mistake. At the time, I thought of her only as a replacement for my lost Cheryl. When she knows the truth, will she feel bad? That's what worries me. Thanks, Dad. So I was Alessa after all. But I do have just a trace of one more memory left. I haven't forgotten my sweet and gentle mother. And the books catch your eye, okay. How about some healing items, huh? Can we get some of those? I would settle for some healing items. Uh, any of our raiders, have you played uh, Silent Hill before? Um, one, two, or three? And uh, if so, what were your thoughts? Oh boy. Get out of here, dude. Oh boy, there's more of them. Oh my lord. This is um, doing me in here. I am not in a good way. Try not to use all my ampules, but... Uh, the door's open. Inside, there's someone wrapped in a bag. Maybe no... They're definitely dead. Okay. Oh, boy. That's a lot of shotgun shells. One wall is covered with that... What looks like lockers inside... Um, no, never mind. With this rotting stench throughout the place, anyone can guess what's inside. I'll just want to puke if I take a look. I mean, you don't want to because of the smell already? All these bodies on the floor wrapped in plastic. What a nightmare. I'm just glad they don't seem about to get up anytime soon. Oh, there's something here. Oh, the Hangman Tarot card. Okay, so we got uh, three tarot cards. Which is good. Yeah, I'm not digging uh, the state of which we're in right here. So we need to just go straight. Uh, and hopefully not get hit. And then, of course, tanked a big hit. Oh, no. No, 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 no. The sound of these things is so awful. How is this game fair? At this point in the game, I'm getting like no healing items. And there's like just intense enemies everywhere. So I'm going to have to fight back, I think. Oh boy, yeah. So how many shells do we have for the shotgun? Uh, a few, but let's see if we can kind of skirt these guys. All right, 
So there's another hallway back there, but let's just get to the end of this one. Oh boy. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, that is so creepy. Open the door. Oh, not a fan of this. something stuck in this book. I got the Fool Tarot card. This book, hmm. I feel like I have read it, but at the same time, I don't want to. Agaleo Fotis. Red liquid or crystals resembling blood. According to the Kabbalah, the name is taken from an herb with the power to dispel evil spirits. It is said to grow in Arabian deserts. It may be vaporized or applied as a poultice to guard against demons. It is powerful, but as it is rare, it is extremely difficult to obtain. It's a picture of me when I was seven. Okay, so this is the uh, 24 years ago, Mo Dahlia used me to summon God. God was in my womb, but I couldn't deliver her. Then I was shut up here in this hospital room. I stayed here until Dad helped me out when I was 14. God ate away at me from within, driving me mad with suffering. There I was, wishing I could just die and be done with it. But I went on living that nightmare for seven years. Looking at this bed just reminds me of those awful days. And I don't want to remember them, because I'm not Alessa anymore. But Alessa is still me. I'm really not trying to deny it or anything. Well, that's good. Handgun bullets. Just a name on the label. No description or anything. It's too risky. Never mind. Oh, come on. We need healing items, Heather. Okay. Not my style at all. Oh, yes, two ampules. That's good. <laughs> that is good. We need that. We're okay right now. But we're going to need that. Or was it a health drink and ampule? No, it was just ampules. Okay. So let's see what's um, in these other doors here. Don't like that. Yeah, they put a big boy in here with me. We need to go through that door. Go left. And then back down this way. Okay, cool. Hmm, a memo book. Something's written inside. She's just beyond this door. I don't know how, but I can sense it. But she's not the only one there. I sense the presence of something extremely dangerous, even sickening, or maybe what they call God. Nevertheless, I will open the door. Enough of this idle chit-chat. God, I'm not, but I fully intend to save her. No. Them. Last entry was written some 17 years ago. Looks like Dad wrote this, too. Good old Harry, man. This closet, it's meaningless to me. I don't have time to wax nostalgic over these old clothes. Okay, well, what about 
some oh save point and a key i know it wasn't me alessa wrote this a long time ago that chapel altar it wasn't that one beautiful chapel it was some other altar somewhere else well we're getting places here this is good Help me, Hagar. Leon! <laughs> Leon! Leon! <laughs> I love the cutoff at the end of that. It's just so good. This is my sketchbook from 17 years ago. Welcome back, dude. On the front cover here is a picture of Dad. Really awful work. What's this doing here? The door sure does rattle, but it's stuck tight. A secret is hidden out of your sight. You may be thinking, what could it be? You'll need five magic cards if you want to see. What to do, then, with all these? I'll tell you straight, and I won't tease. Just as long as you say please. Now the first thing you must know is that there's something in each row. But that is not the half of it. Three would be too hard to fit. The upside down man under the ground. To his right, to his left, there's no one around. Leave him alone, though his tears are profound. The moon is up above the sky, full or crescent floating high. Twinkling light sits like a crown on the head of a crazy clown. Your Excellency praying to God Most High, do you think you can tell me why you always look up at the night sky? Do you have it now? You didn't forget? One major point you must not omit. And now at the last, before you take a whack, here's one more hint to help keep you on track. Scary and hateful, that thing in the night. Better be careful, it's not on your right. Turn to the left, and you'll keep it in sight. So, you'll open the door. I'm just sure that there'll be nothing behind it but frightening peril. Forget about that. Just stay and play, or else I'll be left here alone all day. Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Exactly, Shrupti. Exactly. <laughs> Sorry, Stardust. All right, so the one guy's underground, and there's nothing around. So that means he's at the very bottom. That'd be the hangman. Uh, we need to go to our tarot cards here. So we need to use this. And the hangman, I think, goes here, right? And then up top, the moon is up top. And the fool looks up at that. And then Eye of the Night. Okay, we need oh. to read this again. Wrong button. And we need one more card too. Um, we got the key to that door. This was the model from my old room key. Nope, I went to maps. Why did I go to maps? We need memos. Silly woolly, we need memos. Uh, we need sketchbook. Okay. Under the ground, to his right, to his left, nothing around. So he's the only one on the bottom row. Um, moon is up above the sky. Twinkling light sits like a crown on the head of a crazy clown. So the fool is underneath the moon. Always look up at the night sky. It's not on your right. Turn to the left. You'll keep it in sight. Okay, so that needs to go on the left of the fool, then. Go 
because he's turned to the left. I think I need more, right? Where's the eye of the night here up top? I doubt it's that way. Yeah, I think I need more than just the four. Memos, sketchbook. Yeah, five magic cards. There's something in each row. It's not the half of it. Three would be too hard to fit. So we don't have three in any row. Your Excellency, praying to God most high, do you think you can tell me why you always look up at the night sky? Okay, so something is going to be looking up at that. Okay. So the night sky one needs to go in the top left then. Oh, that's where it's at currently. Okay, so I need something else to put right here. Scribbling on the floor here is Alessa's. For some reason, she always drew monsters like this when she was alone. She used to draw with Claudia, too. A nice daddy and mommy and a fun school. A happy world where everyone smiled and laughed all day long. In short, everything we never had. Okay, cards on the floor. Well, it doesn't matter. Just take these dolls with me when I went to bed. Scarlet and... Damn, I forgot the other one's name. In fact, I don't even know which one is Scarlet. Remember, little Claudia always had a hard time winning. That made her cry. Yeah, where is, uh, where is Saint? Uh, we need some card help. Saint is the card master. It's definitely Exodia, the forbidden one. I don't think you... It said you could combine them, though, doesn't it? But it's still not five. All right, there's that. There's that. Okay. Oh, is, it, is that one on the wall there? Nope. Oh, boy. Okay, so I need to take a right and then just go straight. door to my right okay so we need to go all the way back up to where there was that locked door then this part of the game is definitely infuriating to say the very least Right, uh, or forward and then right. Okay. Hopefully I don't get hit by the wall. Thank goodness. Come on. Oh, boy. Oh, no, 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 no. I hate that. That's absolutely awful. 
<sighs> wow. Yep, that one got me. That one got me big time. Oh, we're in school. Okay. Go home, drop dead, thief. Hmm, this used to be Alessa's. I mean, this was my desk once upon a time. What's in there? Brings back memories, not very pleasant ones. Yeah. Ratty old notebook on the podium. Oops, and there's a letter stuck in there too. Let's see. There's a girl named Alessa in my class. If your memory is any good, you may remember her. She's the one I said they called a witch. Most likely her mother is abusing her. I've never seen her come in without some sort of scrape or bruise. Her expression is pitifully dark for a six-year-old. Something like this may not be so uncommon. Rather than coming up with pointless ideas, it's best just to watch and wait. But isn't there something I can do to help? I'm considering consulting a lawyer, but I do have my reservations. That's why I thought I'd ask you, my friend, for your opinion first. K. Gordon on the hunt for a clear backpack that I certainly haven't moved, but I'm now on the hook to find. <laughs> that is fair, Hegel. Good luck with the search. Uh, more bullets. That's a good thing. I think. Picture of a wolf. It looks like a dog, but it says wolf in everything. So yeah, it's a wolf. It's been declared. All right, so there's doors down the hallway. I'm going to try that one on the left first. Oh. Okay, good. AJ, welcome in, dude. Oh, my lord. I don't like this at all. This is very awful. Welcome in, man. Um, it seems like there's nothing in here except for pain. So we're just uh, not going to do pain. Oh my goodness, yes. Okay. First aid. There's tape deck here. Oh yes, we can listen to the tape now. Meant to take a photo before I drink it, but had a passion fruit, guava, and citrus rattler tonight. Let's go. Can we get some hearts and chat for AJ? Dude, that sounds really good. How was Observer tonight? How was Observer? How was your stream? How are you doing? Cheers, dude. We're sipping on some more Oktoberfest. I'm fully into the uh the fall beers at this point. Fully into the fall beers at this point. They are so good. Let's have a listen to this uh, sweet mixtape. Do you know about what happened here 17 years ago? Oh, it's Vincent. You've been here a long time. You must have heard some details. A group of pagans blinded by earthly desires, spit in the very face of God. They tried to use the seal of Metatron to prevent God's awakening. Good. But God drove the unbelievers away and threw them into the abyss. How rude. But due to their wickedness, God was unable to be born properly. And so... She has slumbered ever since in the womb of the Holy Mother until the time of the awakening. Ooh. That's all that I know. That's it, huh? Well, thanks. Father Vincent, I heard that the Holy Mother Father has Father Vincent? Mm. Is it true? Alessa has been found? Did Claudia say that? Yes. Then it must be true. Her sight rarely fails her. Bless the Lord. Maybe. Bless the Lord. Great faith. But I could never be like her. I wouldn't want to. Nor I. No. The truth is, Sister Claudia frightens me a little. Yeah. Well, now, let's both show our faith by Forgetting about this little talk, okay? Yes, but does that mean this land will finally be the home of eternal paradise? If God wills it, my sister. 
if God wills it. Interesting. So Vincent is not cluing us into this whole story here. Um, it was good and absolutely a mind. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll have to check that out, AJ. The more you're describing it, the more I'm uh, starting to want to play it. Um, and yes, bless Malort, uh, the uh, very uh, famous or infamous chi Chicago liquor, which I've never had. What are these letters? No, maybe a bunch of suggestions. People are starting to voice their dissatisfaction about Father Vincent using the organization's money for his own personal benefit. I've also heard rumors that Father Vincent has been extorting donations from some followers. Is he really the right person for such a position? I'm in no place to deny all he's done to make the organization grow. Even though we believe in God, if there were some sort of gathering, Shouldn't we be valued not for our limited talents or our talkativeness, but for the depth of our faith? L.S. Who is L.S.? Okay. Anything here that we can use? We can hook you up next time you're in the area. It's a uh, um, treat. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've uh, heard it's really interesting, and it's worth a try at least once. Please give me some more healing, uh, at least the last tarot card. So to me, this felt like just ridiculous padding. Uh, the name Claudia Wolf is written very small on the cover. Looks like this is her diary. This felt like a bit of padding to uh, get more out of this area. It is kind of like Chicago's little brother, isn't it? Uh, Milwaukee is definitely not related to Chicago, <laughs> from what I hear. Uh, big rivalry between those two cities. November 10. She didn't die then. She was born. I knew that for a fact. But then why haven't I found her yet? They were supposed to need her power to build paradise for the happiness of the people. She was supposed to be reborn for that. I'd really like to see her. November 14. Read or read the book of, par of praise. I want to thank Father for lending me such an invaluable book. I found what I've been searching for in there. How to awaken God, but it's much too cruel. Will I be able to pull it off when I see her? November 16. I was free all day, so I read A Modern History of Refugees and Young Slaves, Child Exploitation. I don't want to be a mere bystander in this world. I can't do anything, though. Anything now, though, and that's what's hard. Okay. So, Lessa, maybe, is actually part good? There's an old birthday card on the desk. I'll wait to read the birthday card until our uh, friends are back from uh, Advil. And I'll give you a little bit of puppy cam while our non-sub friends are enjoying the ad break. You girls switched beds on me, didn't you? Hey, you did. Lucy's doing the loaf. She's got a total loaf moments. Um, AJ, if you're still hanging about, I don't know if uh, Caddy or Sophie do the loaf, but Lucy definitely loafs. <laughs> yeah, Lucy does the loaf for sure. Oh, good girls. Good girls. All right, let's, let's read this uh, birthday card. So she was still hanging on to this. To little Claudia, happy sixth birthday. I love you as if you were my real sister. Here's to you. Oh, well, you know, we better uh, make sure she has a happy birthday after all. Happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Hope you have a happy, happy birthday. Aw, happy birthday, Claudia. Happy birthday. All right, we already read this. Okay, so we have the tarot card. 
hopefully we can get back there without utilizing too much health. Um, maybe I have to go through that hallway. Or not uh, the hallway, but that danger room. Because maybe this hallway is like blocked off. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, boy. It's this big boy doesn't want me to go through. Come on, get around him. Oh, boy. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not doing good health-wise. Uh, let's do the ampule. Get around Stabby Boy. Okay, so now we know where to go. Except this area is now insane. Come on, big boy, let me pass. Thank you. I think I want to save over here first. I will say, like, I don't understand the rivalry. I get the sports rivalry between Milwaukee and Chicago, like the Brewers and the Cubs. Um, that's all good and fun, but, like, I really enjoyed both cities uh, a lot uh, when I went to them. So, please, uh, Ch Chicagoans, or I don't know what the uh, proper term is, but those that live in Chicago and or Milwaukee, uh, I appreciate both cities uh, in their own way. Ugh. This place is going down the drain. It's getting real bad. Okay, I need to take a left and I need to take on that long hallway the third door. That one. Nope, I've gone too far. Oh, this is bad. Okay. And I just need to get to the end of the hallway. Oh, come on now. That was ridiculous. Okay, to the end and left. Yeah, it's just uh, nasty. Okay, thankfully we're past all that now. Thank goodness. Give ourselves the like, what, 65th save? I wonder if we can do this in under 69 saves. Or maybe with exactly 69 saves. That would be uh, pretty nice. Uh, let's see here. Uh, reload all of our weapons. All right, we're all set there. I feel like this is like maybe final battle territory. Uh, this one has got to go here. Really? That didn't work. Okay. I'm gonna have to read this again. Oh, wrong button. I keep doing that. Uh, memos. Give me memos. Sketchbook. Okay. Something in each row. Three would be too hard to fit, so we can't have three in a single row. Upside down man underground, so he's at the very bottom, on his own in that row. Moon is up above the sky. Moon is above the sky. So the night sky has got to be down. Full or crescent floating high, so that's at the very top. 
twinkling light sits like a crown on the head of the crazy clown. So the, the fool is just under the sky, but it doesn't say it's in the middle. Your excellency praying to God most high, so that eye of the night sky is up there. You think you can tell he always looks up at the night sky. Uh, before you take a whack, here's one more help hint. Scary and hateful, that thing in the night. Better be careful. It's not on your right. It's to the left. Okay. So maybe what we need to do is just move the moon to the right. What you doing, Rex? Oh, good girl. Good girl. I was afraid she was gonna about to have an accident. So let's uh, throw this one just right here. That's got to be it. Yep. Okay. Very uncomfortable camera angles for 5,000. What do I want? Well, for the two of you to die, that would be nice. Then I could relax. When did you stop believing in God? <laughs> when? He lives. Just look around you. But I do believe in her. In my own way. I fear her, and I adore her. But I haven't lost my mind like you. You think that this is the work of God? Isn't this all nothing more than your own personal nightmare? Just like less than 17 years ago? If this really is the work of God, then I'd say she has lousy taste. You mock God? Traitor. You will go to hell. Well, she's, she's right about that. I can almost guarantee that's going to happen. Who do you think you are claiming to know God's will? Go home, Vincent. Home. This church is my home. Hey, that's my beer. The power of money. That's my beer. Welcome in, uh, Raiders. We're in a cutscene. I'll be with you shortly. Although I admit that this atrocious scenery is all yours. If you continue to get in my way, then you'll kill me. Well. <laughs> Tiny murderous penguin, thank you for the raid. How was your stream? How was term Tomb Raider? Let's get this party started. Heather, go ahead and kill this crazy bitch. This demon who claims to speak for God. I just can't pause it. That the I'm no worries at all. You uh, kill her now. Tiny. You go to hell. <laughs> oh. See, Vincent? She told you. She told you, buddy. What did you do? Mm, nothing important. <laughs> Wow. You're not going to run? I guess this is the end. No, the beginning. As Vincent said, the time has come. She just murdered the guy and goes, oh, nothing important. I'm saddened that you didn't agree to this on your own. Wow. Thank you for nurturing God with all the hate in your heart. It's time for mankind to be released from the shackles of sin which bind them. But a god born from hatred can never create a perfect paradise. Happy people can be so cruel. Is it so hard to believe that sympathy could be born out of pain and suffering? Why do you reject God's mercy? Why do you cling to this corrupt world? You know that only 
only God can save us. And save you too? Happy ending? I'd rather go to hell. Yeah. Good work, Heather. I agree. I don't expect to be saved. Mom, welcome in. Good to see you. That's fine. Well, you won't get any, Even Claudia. Even was to save mankind. It was too deep a sin. It was hubris for me to try to hasten the day of her arrival. Sacrifices were made. And those are my sins. Feel so guilty about it. <laughs> you go to hell. I agree, Vincent. Heather, use the seal. Vincent? Yeah, the seal Metatron. Use it. Use it, Heather. The seal of Metatron? Now your stupid dream is over. Oh. That's just a piece of junk. What? what do you think you can do with that? Do you really think it can kill God? I'm sorry to see you fell for my father's foolishness. What? You're pathetic. Wow, Claudia's going full beast mode here. Tiny, if you need a ridden run, I totally understand. Uh, uh, take care of those post-dream self-care needs if you got them. Uh, I'm not kicking you out. Stay as long as you wish. But thank you for the raid. Now, Alessa, there's nowhere else to run. Oh, this isn't good. This is not good. Just accept it, Alessa. The pain will disappear. Help me, Leon! <laughs> Leon! 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 Help! Yeah, where is Leon? Hey, Chang. I mean, yeah, probably true. Ugh. Shut your stinking mouth, bitch! <laughs> oh my lord. Okay. Uh, so we're going to pause it there just so we can properly greet Tiny and their community. Welcome in, Tiny. Thank you for the raid. Hearts and chat for Tiny. Also, hearts and chat for my mom. Uh, Wooly Mammoth, good to see you. Um, I feel like I need to use that for some type of channel uh, quote or something. <laughs> or like a sound alert, because that's hilarious. And yes, Hegel, she was using some uh, some pretty foul language. <laughs> Yeah, you know, give or take, AC. Give or take. <laughs> uh, it is pretty iconic. Yeah, that was pretty cool. <laughs> Welcome in, Raiders. This is good to see you. My name's Uncle Wooly. This is my first playthrough of Silent Hill 3. If you haven't met my puppy dogs before, uh, Roxy's a Jack Russell on the left. She's 14. Lucy's a Shih Tzu on the right. She's 5. Both of them infinitely more adorable and awesome than I could ever be. So people really hang out for them. And when Charlie's around, they hang out for him, too. He's a seven-year-old Pomeranian mix. Um, you know, my mediocre gameplay and terrible, terrible puns are kind of side content to these beautiful, beautiful puppy dogs. So, <laughs> Well, come on in, everybody. Uh, and I'm guessing this is probably a boss fight. 
So let's uh, let's go ahead and get our prediction open here. If you think I'm going to get it on first try, feel uh, free to throw in some channel points. Yes, if you have faith. No, if you're a realist, you've been here before, you know what to expect. Uh, channel point prediction is open for this boss uh, for a couple minutes. Feel free to, uh, uh, you know, vote accordingly. Oh, puppies. Lucy is just out for the count. Roxy's like, mm, I'm awake. Interesting story. F foul, uh, foul language, though. Pretty foul language, huh, Rox? Using those funny words. Heather using those funny words. My goodness. I'll give you a little bit of background maybe while we uh, wait for the prediction to round out here. Got some people of faith. I like that. I like that. Makes me feel good. Or maybe it gives me a sense of false confidence going into boss battles. I've had that too. Where we have a couple people that have a lot of faith and I'll get excited about it thinking, okay, maybe they know something I don't. And nope. Just the false false ego going into some of these boss battles with uh, <laughs> the faith. So I hope I can uh, at least not lose your points for you there. But channel point prediction is open for about another minute here. Oh, this game's getting good. I think it took a while to get its stride. I feel like it's a little slow going in the in the beginning. I feel like the story's kind of hitting its stride. Um, doesn't feel like it has a huge story to tell. Um, but it still tells a good one. I think the first two games had a lot more story. Uh, especially the second game. Uh, it's kind of interesting, though. Because the second game, like the first and third, seem to be just surrounding this entire plot with the the, the, the god and Alessa and all that. And two just kind of took place in that space, right? It didn't. It wasn't linked to these main throughput of uh, plot that one and three had. That's kind of interesting. Two is kind of, even though it's a mainline title, almost feels like a spinoff. They do have a mobile game uh, slash show coming out um, in, uh, it's like at the end of the month on, on Halloween. So I'm gonna see if I can, uh, I don't know if that's something I can stream or not, if they're allowing streamers to stream that. Um, otherwise I'll just play it, but I'm definitely very interested in that. Is it, I think it's called Ascension. Sci-Fi, I appreciate the belief. Uh, see if we can uh, do right by you. Um, let me see here. Uh, let's see. Uh, Irish Dave, a mod of the channel, shared a link in the Discord. I'm going to see if I can find it here. Yeah, here we go. Uh, Silent Hill Ascension. It's a mobile game or mobile app. I'm going to paste uh, the link right here just so people can check that out in their free time. It's a YouTube video. Arthur, dog treat. Let's definitely get that out of the way before the boss. We can get that out of the way. Oh, did you hear treat? You're awake for that, Lucy, huh? <laughs> Arthur, how are you doing? Happy Wednesday, dude. Happy Wednesday, Arthur. All right. All right, puppy dogs. Roxy, do you have the waggly tail? <laughs> Two treats in one stream, I know. Can you stop mooning people, please? That would be uh, pretty nice. Yeah, there you go. 
Um, Hegel. Um, they're covered. Oh, I got a hole in my sock. How about that? Um, yeah. I guess I need new socks. Didn't know uh, that happened. <laughs> we got out uh, dog. I spelled out T R E A T more than I said the word treat. So now our pup. Oh no, <laughs> it's backfired on you, tiny. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. So AC, I have uh, revamped the redeem. So there is a two-hour cooldown uh, between treats and only two per stream. They got sensitive little bellies, so I don't want them to, uh, to you know, get sick or anything. Uh, the Charlie's on vacation, Arthur. Uh, DJ wife uh, took him on vacation with her. So Charlie gets a little vacation. And that's, that's his emote of just, yeah, telling people to deal with it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, he'll be back. He'll be back um, in November. Yeah, they're gone for a couple weeks. Uh, and I will be planning the uh, 1K follower celebration stream uh, because of getting sick and just having too many events going on uh, in end of August, early September, and now October. So planning that one for, I think, the weekend before Thanksgiving. So that would be, I think, November 16th, I think, is uh, tentatively scheduled. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, that'll be our tentative schedule for that uh, celebration stream. And Hegel, uh, your chili dog beer, I think I'm going to do uh, Halloween weekend during one of those long streams. So, you know, if you're around, I want to make sure you're there for that one. But we've got our channel point prediction in. Uh, Arthur, thank you for the puppy treat. Uh, let's uh, get into the boss battle here, I think. And I'm going to give you gameplay for the entirety of, of the uh, the boss battle. How about that? Uh, that would be the weekend of the 28th, uh, Hegel. So 28th, 29th. All right. Are we ready for this one? I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know if I'm ready, but we'll find out, right? Oh, she's not fighting back. Claudia. instead oh i missed the text i hate how things kind of you know get cut off there what are you doing buttons okay i might need to repair my controller with the game here sometimes it does that between pausing it just doesn't want to react right there we are there's a hole in the floor. I don't care about that right now. But what do you care about? Vince instead. Claudia. Oh, there we go. Oh, dang, dude. Well, we can make sure it's a, a weekend that you're around. But I just want to uh, drink it before it's aged too much. God. Bring us salvation. Okay. Uh, that's a death. I. Wouldn't necessarily count that as a boss death, though, because I, I clearly was not in a boss fight. But that's a way but to die, I guess. Unsuccessful? <laughs> Obviously. Obviously. Strufty? Obviously. <laughs> um, let's remove this one. This one. And this guy goes here. This one goes there. And that guy goes right there. And in case we fail again, I'm just going to go save. 
so we don't have to do that again. Yeah, I'm not going to let... Because we also didn't have anybody that voted no. Um, so I'm not going to let those that put in points get uh, derailed by that. Yeah, the chanting in this part is weird. Let's go. Yeah, this is very um, cryptic here. Okay, so pressing start here does uh, Claudia. So I hated him too, but it doesn't mean it makes me happy. Okay, can we grab the knife? Oh. Okay, so that's how you die. So I can't kill Claudia. Because that just kills me for no explained reason. <laughs> All right. You know what I'm going to do as well? Reload my gun, equip it, and then overwrite the save. can't kill her then what can you do yeah and then if you try to leave you die as well because that's what i did the first time um, so that's not it so maybe i need to use the seal of metatron on her that's my only guess Vincent's dead. Hating him doesn't mean that it makes me happy. Why couldn't I have stopped Claudia? Okay. What am I supposed to do? It's like she's looking at the knife, but I can't grab that. Oh, I gotta use the pendant. I guess the seal was junk. Or maybe I'm supposed to combine that with the seal? I agree, Stardust. Did she just eat that? She is nearly here. Weird. What have you done? What did you swallow? Ooh. That is, uh, there's your, there's your god, I guess. What is this? Yeah, don't eat the precious. Looks like God didn't make it. Stop! God is... Oh. <sighs> nah. Nah. Lessa, you cannot kill God. I will I will burn God. If you can't do it, Lessa. Claudia! Claudia! 
Yep. That's why we don't eat God, people, okay? Definitely don't do that. Yeah. This is a thing. This game is wild. Okay. Uh, yeah. How about we not go down there? It's gonna pull us down there. Oh no, we're gonna jump of our own free will. This is fantastic. This is definitely end game territory. I can feel it. Ugh. Yeah, I'm guessing so, AC. I'm gonna have to rewatch some stuff from the first game for this to make any sense to me. <laughs> Can't be dead. I was gonna kill you. Yeah, how dare you die before I kill you? <laughs> what a line. Oh boy. Not good. That fire is not good. Um. Oh boy. Yeah, we need to heal. Definitely need to heal after that. Let's use our health pack here. Oh no. Oh, we're not good on health after that, I bet. Yeah, let's just uh, go ahead. Reload as well. Oh boy. Yep. 
Yeah, she needs to lean back down again. do we have left? One. Oh, I hate to use it now. Oh no. See, that's why I hate the button scheme. I accidentally hit start and select at the same time. Shoot. I'm going to take the death. I'm going to count a death on that. But I'm not going to ruin people's prediction chances. Shoot, shoot, shoot. That's a bad one. I'm sorry about that. That stinks. I just need to be more careful with my button presses. Why do I need jerky? I need to reload. Thank you. Oh, no. 
out. Yeah, we can barely get two shotgun blasts off on her. This is weird. Real wild. Health-wise, go ahead and use that. We got two of those left. Let's reload. She's tanky. I'm catching on something weird. Okay, handgun. Yeah, um, good question. Good question, Cypher. No idea. Please don't die. Please don't die. Average Wednesday in Silent Hill. See, the movement in here is weird. <laughs> that one counts. I'm sorry for uh, Sci-Fry and Booster. AC, sorry about your points there. That was a honest attempt and not a good one. Oh, somebody did get some points in on, on the no. Or was it the other way around? Hegel, enjoy your sleep. Uh, good luck trying to sleep after watching this, honestly. What is it, Uzi, to a non-believer? <laughs> hey, go enjoy your sleep, dude. Uh, also, uh, if I don't talk to you before uh, the weekend, uh, safe travels, dude. Enjoy your time in Vegas. Uh, enjoy your time uh, watching some awesome bands. 
I'm very jealous. <laughs> so who won those channel points? Payday for Jack, my goodness. Good work, Jack. Good work. So I have a feeling maybe I need to use shotgun early. Since it's gonna be a little bit easier. See, like, the movement gets kind of weird. A health bar, yeah. Usually you can tell, like, you know, on the splats of blood or whatever, but it's hard to tell with a shotgun. Yeah, but sometimes I go to run and the movement pattern just gets really weird. Like it's kind of like doing some weird targeting stuff. Anybody else seeing that? Because it's not natural movement. stick over here it's kind of nice because it, it uses fire from that side yep. and then I should be able to kind of just run around this way and then when it pops down oh. run 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 shots we got left here why is it not a nice dinner or a little wine yeah some dancing is romance dead arthur <laughs> how would you even romance a god anyway seems a bit weird We got two more shells left in our shotgun. Yeah, so we can do one more round of that. Wimpy, welcome in, dude. Welcome in. We're trying our best <laughs> to defeat God here. How are you doing? Happy Wednesday. 
Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Thank you. Alright, we're out of shotgun shells now. Kinda wanna switch to the pistol, because at least with the pistol we can do some. healing territory. You no, know, let's not chance it. Like over here, it was always kind of like uses the left, yeah, and then we could just strafe back around that way. All right, where are we at with bullets? Probably out. Oh, one more bullet. <laughs> Got to my folks around seven. Just been hanging out. Got to get some rest. Uh, bring Remy to the vet tomorrow. Take hey, care, dude. Have a good rest. And uh, needed to ward off evil spirits. Fermented liquid. Thanks for the fermented liquids, uh, Goose. We need to ward off these evil spirits. <laughs> Cheers. All right. Got one more shot in here, I think. Right. So we got that off. Let's equip our submachine gun. Uh, I am enjoying the game. It's just uh, very uh, unnerving and creepy. So that's uh, very on brand for Silent Hill. I don't know if you've ever played these games at all, but uh, <laughs> they are fun. They're just, uh, yeah, challenging. <laughs> uh, I think we can get hit one more time. Together, Heather. Not a time. Not a time for that. Yeah, like the movement gets weird sometimes. Never played them. I don't know how scary they were, but um, this bit is kind of boss battle territory so it's not as bad but the sounds and everything are still just very unnerving 
stop it, Heather. Alright, we're down to our last heal. That's fine. Yeah, she just is doing some weird movement stuff now. bullets do we have left in this? 13. I hope this is enough. Out of ammo. You know what we gotta do now. Yeah. go. <laughs> Sorry, we do have an ad. I couldn't snooze it. It happened right at the end of the uh, battle here. <laughs> yeah, just kick it in its stupid face. Uh, yeah, I feel the same way. Thanks for the GGs. <laughs> Guess it's time to roll the credits. Yeah, get out of there. Yeah, she does. She's been through a lot. This girl has been through a lot. Oh yeah, she was going to check on Douglas. There's Dougie boy. Heather. Enjoy your sleep, Scoose. Have a good night. Enjoy the lurk. Or, uh, yeah, <laughs> just have a good night. Thank you for the lurk. Still alive. Oh, no. <laughs> just a joke. Oh, my goodness, Heather. That's crazy. <laughs> I agree, Douglas. Heather, did you... You don't have to call me that. I'm not hiding anymore. You want me to use your real name? What was it again? Cheryl. The name my father gave me. Nice touch. Nice you touch. Let your hair color go back to... I don't know. Don't you think blondes have more fun? Thank you. 
And Wimpy, if you're heading out too, I know you uh, said you needed to get to bed earlier. Um, hearts and chat for Goose and also for Wimpy. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to beat the game tonight. I think it took me three parts or three parts to do Silent Hill 2, and this took four. Not too bad. Kira Yamoka or Yamaoka, man, amazing sound design. Uh, very creepy, great music. I'm gonna have to rank this one lower than two, um, mainly because of gameplay issues, not necessarily story or uh, any of that, but just weird gameplay quirks. But I like how it continues that throughput of the uh, story from the first game. Highly recommend these games. If people like survival horror, um, some very psychological terror, uh, great game. Great set of games, I should say. I've never played four. I don't have that on the agenda to do this, uh, this scary season. Uh, we might save that one for uh, 2024. Uh, we still need to get through the rest of Resident Evil 4 Remake, uh, the Separate Ways DLC, and then some other scary games on Halloween weekend. He refused to give in to the town that takes all. Oh, this is good. This music's great. And of course, any game I play on stream, whether it's from a big company or indie developer, I let the credits roll because there's a lot of people that worked on games um, and they deserve, you know, their name on the screen. And of course, I'm using a work to create content. So it's only right to honor that. Too. But my goodness, what a great game. Yeah, I will do four at some point, AC. I've seen some gameplay of four. Uh, there's some monsters that have this weird burping noise to them that I've seen can be uh, quite hilarious. <laughs> so it seems like the sound design's a little crazy in four. I do have the soundtrack for four as well. I did get one through four on vinyl. Uh, I originally got the soundtrack for two, what was it, earlier this year? And then I picked up the others. Uh, they had a sale recently. Oh, so Heather's voice is Heather Morris. Uh, Richard Gross for Douglas. Claudia is Donna Burke. And Vincent is Clifford Rappel. Other voice actors, Matt Lagan. Uh, Lenny Hart and Mike Matheson. No more stories from you. I heard him say we blame bad luck for his fate. And the eye of terror is so great. She and he will know that someday all things will end. Awesome. That misty so with this game i don't know if there's other endings or not stardust have a wonderful sleep uh hope you're better soon um please take care of yourself and let's get some hearts in the chat for stardust thanks for joining us tonight thanks for hanging out through the rest of the game this was a blast 
a lot of fun. Good night, Stardust. Good night. Two thousand three. Two thousand three is when this came out. I think uh, two was two in two thousand two or two thousand one, and then the original game was ninety nine, right? So we got a rank of five stars. No way. Normal. We took six hours to clear it. Split worm time was a minute. So pretend Wooly is still fighting the boss on this very night 10 years ago along this very stretch of road in a dense fog like this saw the worst accident I've ever seen. There was a sound like a garbage truck dropped off the Empire State Building and when they pulled the drivers, oh. It looked like the boss, oof. Is that a true story, Arthur? Because my lord. Missionary kill time, 2 minutes, 38 seconds. Leonard kill time, 2.46. Memory of Alessa, 4 minutes. Uh, God kill time, 9 minutes. Cleared the game once. We saved 81 times. We used 171 items. Defeated 29 enemies by shooting. 37 by fighting. Total damage, 1833. Action level normal, riddle level normal clear time six hours cool oh peewee's big adventure that's right wow it's been a while it's been a while <laughs> So item number, I got pretty good rank on that. And Leonard kill time, I got a good rank. And split worm as well. Nice. Uh, damage taken was actually less, I think, wasn't it? My item number was up. Total damage wasn't great. So it's the one that's kind of currently highlighted at the top. Yeah, item number. Extra new game has been added to start screen. Okay. You fulfilled the conditions for the hidden item beam saber. Fulfilled the conditions for hidden item unlimited submachine gun. Extra costume. Sweet. Happy birthday is the uh, extra costume. Sweet. You wish to save gameplay results and rankings. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Just go to 21. How many saves did I have? I had 67 saves, so I did it less than uh, 69 saves. That's nice. Um, Pilgore. Um, I need to... I started Cabin in the Woods the other day. Um, it, but it was right before bed, so I fell asleep. Um, so I need to finish that. I did watch uh, X and Pearl over the weekend, as well as Terrifier 1 and 2. Watched Friday the 13th on Friday the 13th, uh, parts 1 and 2. Um, binge watched through uh, Cabinet of Curiosities again. And also watched uh, Storm of the Century. Uh, so that's kind of what I watched. over. Oh, and I watched Smile as well. So that was what I watched over the weekend. So we need to put in happy birthday. Did it have an I in there or was it just RTH? We'll, we'll try the full name. No, it didn't like that. Happy Earth Day. What? 
yeah, got a lot of uh, a lot of good horror movies in over the weekend. If you have any other recommendations, feel free. Um, X and Pearl were quite good. Um, I it might be a hot take, but I think I liked Pearl more than X, and that's saying a lot because uh, they're both great. So what is the extra normal? We can do normal, normal. I'm just curious what this extra new game thing is all about. Just want to take a peek at it real quick. Oh, happy birthday, case sensitive. Oh, okay. I'll go back and do that, uh, AC. I do have, um, said I unlocked the uh, unlimited sum machine gun and something else, but uh, let's go back to the main menu here. Just knocked out all three Fear Streets this week. Okay. So what are those, uh, what are those movies? And I think I heard also, um, Fall of the House of Usher is one I need to check out. I haven't really seen any other films from that kind of set of films either. Uh, Terrifier 2 was basically, like, if you've seen Terrifier 1, it's basically what they were able to do when they actually had <laughs> a budget. <laughs> and it was wild. Absolutely wild. Okay. Here we go. So if I load, maybe I need to load that game save results. Fear Street was a set of three movies Netflix released over three weeks, about three years ago. Okay. I'll have to check that out. Oh, so that's just all the results are. It's just to see the results on a save file. Just, I don't know how to select the costume then. Let's see here. Let's just give this a try. I like how you get to skip the uh, whole uh, amusement park thing in the intro. That makes sense why they would do that. It doesn't really hold up for a second playthrough. Okay, so you just equip. Okay, so you can just equip the shirt. Got it. Is it really good so far? I'll check that out. List of unlocks. Turns out the unlimited SMG was from getting the kill blow on. Oh! <laughs> Excellent. Well. I'm going to have to check that out uh, definitely next time. I want this as uh, kind of the end stream music uh, for rating out to you. I kind of dig this. So let's hop over here. We'll find somebody to rate out to. Thanks for joining me tonight, everybody. Thanks for sticking through our first playthrough of Silent Hill 3. Um, let's take a peek here. Oh, you know what? I think we're going to raid over to... Let me just take one peek. Just one peek here at the stream team to see who's on. I think I know who we're raiding to. Uh, I am definitely not, Arthur. <laughs> I am definitely not. See if anybody on the stream team is playing some horror. 
uh, Cosplay Let's Play is playing Silent Hill 2 in um, Maria Cosplay. Let's head over there. Let's uh, share some love to a fellow Treppy. How long have they been on? Oh yeah, they'll be on for a little bit. I'm just gonna let the ad run out. So uh, when I raid over, I don't have to view the ads. Oh, I dig this music though. This is nice. So AC, does it say you have to like get to a certain part of the game? I'm guessing you probably have to get to where you actually have guns before you can start using um, that SMG. That was like a long shot and a necessity because I needed it and I had no more ammo. No more healing items. <laughs> that one was rough. That one is really rough. Oh, Central Square Shopping Center. Okay. Oh, if somebody asks if you're a god, you say yes. Arthur, I am ashamed um, at my movie trivia tonight. It has just gone over my head. So it sounds like the character is walking in the game. I'm gonna see why that's happening. There we go. I think we're okay. There we go. Oh, it's because I accidentally had a button down. That's why. That is why. Okay, so I have some thank yous to get out of the way too. We had quite a bit of raids tonight. So um, AC, you raided and then just stuck around all stream, so. Definitely go say hello to AC next time they're live. It's on the stack of boxes at the left and the alleyway outside. Oh, okay. Very cool. That'll make next playthrough a lot of fun. Uh, also, Bun, thank you for the raid. That Romo dude, thank you very, very much. And also, Tiny Murderous Penguin. Thank you all very, very much for the raids. Much, much appreciated. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for bringing your friends over. Thanks for the new follows. Also, huge, huge thank you to the hype train that we started stream with, including the resub from Jose at 10 months, AC at 10 months, resub from Jack at nine months. That's a Twitch baby. If you want to name that thing, please do. Hegel, thank you for the five gifted dude. I know you're off to sleep already, but uh, thank you very, very much. Also, Strufty, thank you for the gifted sub to uh, Bad Ombre. Much, much appreciated. Thank you all very, very much. This has been a wild night. And please, no spoilers uh, for Cosplay Let's Play. It is their uh, first playthrough of Silent Hill 2. Looks like they're in the uh, apartment buildings here. So we're going to go to Cosplay Let's Play. Give them a shout out so you know where we're heading. And I would say we'll be back here Friday with uh, Final Fantasy, but uh, we're over on YouTube on Friday mornings with Final Fantasy. So if you feel like hopping over there, um, my link for that is right here, all my socials, if you want to catch up with us outside of stream. So Friday mornings, I'm over uh, there. And I am starting a half hour early this Friday, so I'm going to see if I can actually pull that off. Because uh, that game is a big game and it's tough to just leave it at two hours. Um, so I'm going to try starting half hour early with that on Friday. Uh, next week, back with more Resident Evil 4 remake. Uh, we may continue that on Wednesday, or I might put something else uh, horror themed on Wednesday. So we'll we'll see. We'll, we'll uh, think about that one over the weekend. Uh, please, please, everybody, take care of yourselves, okay? Stay hydrated. Don't stay up too late playing uh, Silent Hill 3. And hopefully you can sleep after playing Silent Hill 3. Um, please, please take care of each other. Just a little brightness goes a long, long way uh, for people. So maybe be that treat in people's lives instead of the trick, okay? <laughs> and until uh, Monday on Twitch, where we're back with more Resident Evil 4, and Friday on YouTube with um, Final Fantasy 16. 
please take care. Big cheers, everybody. Have a good night.